Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Welcome to your new moon in Aquarius tarot reading. So just a little bit about the new moon. Uh, new moon is um, the energy of inviting in new intentions, positivity. It's all about new cycles, uh, rhythms. It's about new visions, dreams, goals, desires, inviting in all these energies in all areas of life, setting well wishes and intentions for you and those around you. And it, it is in the sign of Aquarius, which the sign of Aquarius is the sign of community, socializing. It's a humanitarian um, sign as well. They're creators, they're goal-oriented, they're future thinkers. Uh, but they can be cool and aloof sometimes. And it does represent the star in the tarot, which is all about faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, um, things meant to be. It's a healing. But um, it could also mean shining brightly like a star. So being in the limelight or something to that effect as well. And it's also an air sign, which is all about clarity, truth, communication, cutting out what's not serving, standing up, telling it like it is not backing down but again can be kind of a cool and aloof um, kind of energy as well so we're going to get into the new moon and aquarius readings here and i shall see you in your reading hi virgo let's see what is going on for you for this new moon in aquarius welcome in welcome in hope everyone is doing well staying safe and healthy at this time this is for virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Virgo placements, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. And you can definitely flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to, Virgo. And cross watchers are welcome. Could be a reading or messages in here for you, so please do keep that in mind. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there, so you can check that out as well. And your February readings have started to go out, so you can check that out. If you are new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. You get a short weekly reading for the week ahead, just a sneak peek, a look in. And then I do longer readings like this one. I do two monthlies, a new moon and a full moon. All right, Virgo, let's see. All right, tell me that one. What is going on for you? Let's see. All right. We have divine animals. We have 22. Two is a number of partnerships, unities, uh, choices, and decisions. So you may have a connection to animals. Uh, some may work with animals, may just have a lot of animals, have a farm, pets. Somehow you may have a connection with someone through animals as well. And we have light beings. 35, which is 8. This has been coming out almost every reading. And I've had this uh, car, uh, this deck, this is the Secret Language of Light. And I very rarely would ever get this uh, card to come out. And now for the New Moon in Aquarius, this has been coming out quite a bit here. So 35, 8. 8 for me, you know, you tip it sideways is the infinity symbol. But 8 is also the number of uh, working hard, um, action, travel, communication as well. And we have soul family, 36, which is nine. Nine is almost full circle completion. Uh, one more step to 10, and then it would be total finality of that. And then one, a new beginning. Somehow, uh, kind of an odd message here, but somehow you may have a connection to either just uh, your soul tribe family um, maybe you volunteer around animals as well, maybe like at a shelter or a vet's office or uh, maybe some foster or something like that. So somehow, um, maybe some of you even fostered a pet and then it was adopted out by somebody and then you actually got involved with that person and now you have a family. I mean, it, crazy things happen. I mean, that could be it as well. But I mean, with light beings here, I always get that as... Um, you know, being of higher realms, being divinely connected as well. You may be uh, connecting. If you're not with this person, you may connect, be connecting spiritually, cosmically, maybe astral travel as well, um, you know, in the higher dimensions. But let's see where this is going. You may actually, with your person, you may like the same type of animals as well, however that means for you. Maybe some of you have the same... Um, 
some of the same signs. I mean, I do see the line there, which could be Leo. Maybe you both have Leo in some same placements in your charts as well. And we have Unbound, Releasing Soul Patterns, Contracts, and Past Lives. Hmm. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And the ever unfolding rose, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. So whatever happened here, now I don't know if this is you or somebody that you're connecting to, but I feel like um, whatever there was a disconnect from, and it could have been, you know, people, places, or things no longer serving, um, it happened for a reason. And somebody may, may have felt here like it was happening to them on purpose, um, you know, it was happening to them, but in actuality, it was really happening for them so they could truly connect to their true soul tribe, soul family, maybe even their soul mate. I feel like this energy of someone becoming much more lighter overall because of this as well. And in energy, now we can have fun, we can have, you know, happiness, joy, expansion, growth kind of energy as well. And that play can be dating, socializing. All right. So we have the Phoenix. Resurrection, surrender to change. 29, which is 11. And 11 is about being on the right path. It's a soul path number. It's a life path number. And we have a lot of fire energy here. So I feel like this was meant to happen, this change, but there's a res resurrection coming out of this better uh, than before. The altar priestess, preparation, prayer, sacred ritual, 39, 12, which is three. Three is, you know, number of growth, expansion, collaborating, teamwork, people coming together in some way. We have the rainbow prince, compensation and perseverance, 26, which is eight again. Travel, action, communication, rainbow, luck, expansion, and growth coming in here. This may, whatever happened here, I mean, you could have gone, somebody could have gone through like a spiritual awakening, maybe a midlife crisis, maybe it was a bout of depression or um, dark night of the soul, because I kind of have dark energy there, but whoever this is coming out of it much lighter, maybe more spiritual as well, rising like the phoenix. And I feel like for all the troubled times that somebody went through here, they will be comp compensated for that. And it's saying not to give up because growth, uh, luck, abundance is coming in with this rainbow. Hmm, interesting. So let's see. Virgo, let's see where this is going for you. What does all this mean? I definitely feel like whatever challenge you've been through, I mean, this could have been you or the person you're dealing with. Maybe, you know, if you have a lot of, it sounds crazy, but a lot of pets or animals or a farm, they really, really helped you pull through a very challenging, troubled time as well. They were kind of like your soul family. Hey, that's, some people are more are closer, uh, more closer to their pets than actual people, but let's see here. So some of you, again, may be more spiritual as in that altar priestess, becoming like a high priestess. So we'll look at this. We have the palace of coins. That is living in a total state of growth, abundance, stability, prosperity. You know, having your coins, not having to worry. Hermit. Definitely someone's gone into... That's you, Virgo. So this could be you, Virgo, that's gone through... Um, some sort of, I don't know what this was. Maybe you've done some card cutting. Maybe you've done some meditation. Maybe you've done some past life regression. Whatever this was, I feel like there was disconnecting from all these energies that were holding you down, making your energy much more lighter, being able to connect more deeply um, to, you know, the cosmic energies as well, the universal energies, spirit. This is you, Virgo. Knight of Swords. I feel like this happened very quickly, whatever this was for you. The Lovers. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, so there's the loss. So somebody has been through a great deal of pain, heartache, and loss here. Again, it could have been about of depression, uh, sadness, you know, spending time, could have spent a lot of time in seclusion alone. 
you know, the hermit goes within, tries to figure the things out. You know, it's healing, it's meditating, it's thinking, contemplating, soul searching, becoming spiritual, you know, enlightened energy. And I feel like we have uh, Knight of Swords, which is Aquarius energy to me, and that's the energy we're talking about. So we have uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, we have the Sun, which is the best energy. You can have massive healing here. Somebody's been through massive, massive healing, purging um, as well. And now some sort of information is going to come through about that. So somebody may be coming through to communicate what kind of transformation they've been through, whether this is you or someone to you, how they... You may not even know, like if this isn't you, you may not even know like how bad it was for them, what the depression was like, or what the circumstances were. Maybe they didn't really want to tell you, um, but something will become enlightened here with some sort of information. It'll be coming from a grounded place. Somebody has really invested a lot of time and energy into themselves. It's been taking a hot minute. At a crossroads here, again, choices, decisions, two of pentacles, but could be the divine masculine. You know, maybe you knew that they had to go through this and maybe it was too much for you. So you had to take back your energy right here, the hermit. And now things are coming back together more quickly now because they've had to do this on their own. You know, you knew you couldn't do it for them. They had to do it on their own, whatever this was for them. And now with this palace of coins at the end of the rainbow is the palace of coins. That is beyond the 10 of coins. We have Aries here with the uh, Emperor. I was going to say the Divine Masculine. So very well could be King of Wands on the top of the deck. Aries again, which is kind of like an Emperor to me as well. Somebody could be an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, going after, you know, some creative ideas, outlets as well, or a leader. But Tree of Life. So the roots run deep here. Many, many, many past lives together as well. That King of Wands for me um, is Leo. So, and I saw the Leo, the lion right there. So you may have uh, something either with lions or you both have uh, maybe Leo as like your moon sign or uh, something like that. Or maybe your Mercury because we do have, um, I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm thinking Gemini, but we don't have any Gemini here. Oh yeah, we do right here with the lovers. All right, so... Yeah, I feel like you, you kind of left them to um, do this journey on their own. So let's see. And I think, you know, they're figuring this out now that it happened for them, not to them. Uh, for some reason, really cracked somebody open here. Had to do a lot of re uh, releasing. But somebody's energy is much lighter now as well. And, you know, maybe this affected you. So maybe you kind of went through something similar as well. Ace of Swords, so definitely is uh, somebody's story here. Divine Clarity from Source, Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment, Successful New Beginning, Cutting Away Energies and Aloha Sorry, Standing Up, Telling It Like It Is. It's also Clear Cut Conversations, Communication. Ten of Cups, Total Happiness, Joy, and Fulfillment. There's a New Beginning. Justice. Maybe somebody, um, you know, had some legal battles or divorce or uh, legalities they had to deal with. That doesn't have to be, though. I mean, this just can be truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. I always call it universal law and order. Balance. Five of Wands. Conflict or competition. So, I mean, somebody could have had, you know, a lot that they were going through internally, but also a lot going on around them as well. So it could have been, you know, a long drawn out battle if it was a divorce as well. Nine of Swords, very stressful situation. So somebody was in a very, the sun's on the bottom again. Wow, Leo energy. You know, that is the best energy you can have with the sun. Strength, uh, I was going to say strength, but it's, you know, growth, expansion, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, a happy home and family, joy, love. It is my soulmate twin flame card. It could be a twin flame journey for some. What does the rainbow, how does it get there with the sun? So somebody had to go through the dark clouds, the rain, the storms to have the sun come out and get to the other end of this rainbow. 
we have total happiness, joy, fulfillment. So I feel like somebody, you know, has been through a very, very stressful, maybe sleepless night situation, a lot of conflict, internal conflict, conflict around them, fighting, arguing. Um, again, it could have been a long, draw, long drawn out case or battle or divorce, whatever that was. But the new beginning is here with the Ten of Cups, Virgo. So they could be coming in, communicating, or somebody is here that they are ready for a new beginning here. See, the loss with the five is that stress about the loss and could be conflicted about, you know, making that choice to get involved in another relationship here. But um, I feel like there's going to be some sort of quick action here once something is finalized. Someone's gone within here and they really thought heavily and they know exactly where the Ten of Cups is as well. All right. Virgo. Could actually be starting a family with this channel. Oh, with this channel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe some of you are channeling. It's been a long day. <laughs> um with this um maybe somebody else has their own channel youtube channel maybe they work for a news channel i don't know all right so oh my god the pat uh palace of wands it's only four palace cards in this deck so let's see if the other ones come out queen of coins so that could be you virgo for me it's capricorn but definitely could be you seven of swords queen of cups Hierophant. So we have the <clears throat> altar priestess, which is like the high priestess to me, and the hierophant, which to me that is the spiritual couple of the deck. So I feel like here now regarding money, career, or finances, I always kind of throw that in a little bit. You could be doing very well here. Um, business, like if you have your own business or entrepreneurship or something like that, or company. Um, Knight of Swords of Things could be taking off um, quickly here and making even more money than you have been in a very long time as well. You could be bringing in new um, ideas, inspiration, or things like that to kind of expand, and that's really helping out a lot too. You could have been worried here that it may you know, ruin or sabotage, but I don't think that's going to happen here. If you feel it in your heart, I would say just keep going for it. And you may feel like uh, other companies or business are trying to compete with you. Uh, so you may have other businesses or companies a little worried. Um, and they feel find it very, very hard to compete with you, your business, what you have to offer, whatever that means for you. I think a lot of people have faith in you um, and they really love what you do. Whatever, whatever that means. Some, it could be a spiritual business. Maybe you have... Um, I don't know, maybe you work with animals or something like that. All right, so what I feel like here, the Palace is one of Wands, that's about living in total state of passion, of creativity, spirituality, inspiration, um, ideas. It's just a very um, exciting energy. Now, this Queen of Coins could be you or another Earth sign. For me, it's Capricorn, but it very well could be you. Seven of Swords. So I think somebody here uh, with the Queen of Cups... You know, that is about a lot of love here and a very intuitive energy as well. That's Cancer. And then we have Taurus. We have the Fool. So somebody is ready for a new start here, taking a leap of faith. And here's that Aquarius energy. Here's a returning with the Six of Cups, the person from the past. Some of you could be returning back home, moving back home, visiting back home as well. Could be children involved for some. So that could be the soul family. Maybe there's going to be a uh, combination, combining families. There's a healing and resting again with the four of swords. But then we have the six of swords, which is positive movement forward into peace, harmony, balance, leaving all BS behind. So someone is finally leaving troubled waters behind because there's a death and a rebirth here and a transformation, Scorpio energy into the new. Yeah, something definitely, as I see that uh, ten of swords, something is definitely over and done here. But now Temperance is bringing in soulmates together. Peace, harmony, balance, um, divine timing, divine alchemy, patience. 
at just the right time. Soulmates coming together, maybe past lives together, healing. Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny here. Divine timing, something meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction. So we have Sagittarius here, Leo, Christ, Taurus, Scorpio with the wheel. And this is Solomon Warfare with the Ace of Coins. You may have people that want to come in and work with you as well. Maybe you want to invest in you or um, work with you with that Ace of Coins. That could be that as well. Well, there's the Palace of Swords. So there's the other one living in the total state of transparency, truth, clarity, communication. So I feel like here somebody could have ran from their heart how they truly felt from this very spiritual connection. But somebody, again, a lot of healing here through a very troubled time. You know, and it could have gone around and around here. So it could have been for them or you feeling like a never-ending circle. But the new beginning is here. And I feel like this sword is finally going to cut this free. And someone's coming in here with their cup. Hmm. All right. You may not even see it coming, Virgo. So let's see. What else do we need to know about this for Virgo? Knight of Coins. Yeah, it's slow. It's steady. It's taking time here, but um, it can't be rushed. We have Taurus Energy, or that could be you. Slow, steady, growth forward. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. There it is. Coming in with the cup now. Four of Swords. A lot of thinking, healing, again, retreating, but returning here with the Six of Cups. Fool taking that leap of faith. So the card's repeating again. So again, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, so this could be you, Queen of Swords. So somebody here could have been divorced, been through a lot, a very troubling time as well. We have Libra, has a fiery passion new beginning. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So we saw all four Aces, and we almost saw all four Palace the only one we didn't see was the Palace of Cups. But this Ace of Wands is ushering in uh, exciting new beginnings, new ideas, creativity, spirituality, maybe a fiery, passionate new beginning. Eight of Wands, travel, action, communication. Cupid's Arrows. There's the information coming in again. That could be for you, Virgo. Again, it's taking time here. But here's the Empress. And we did see the Emperor. So that's a matching couple again. So we have Libra Taurus. So, the Wheel of Fortune again. And there's that Ace of Coins. Palace of Swords again. So, I feel like manifesting a new beginning here, Gemini Virgo. So, I feel like here, Virgo, that um, whoever had to get themselves unstuck, unbound, or get through a very troubling, hard time, really lifted, lighted up their energy, made them feel a lot more lighter as well. Um, a lot of healing. So, I mean, this could have been a midlife crisis, divorce. I mean, a lot going on here. But on the other side of that is being more spiritually connected, rising like the phoenix. And now the universe is going to compensate either you or this person, whoever this was for, um, for their troubling times, which is now being truly connected to their true soul family, um, their soul mate. All new beginnings here as well. And I feel like your business is going to take off too. If you do have a business or whatever that means for you. And I think you have um, competition. A little worried here. Alright. So they may be competing with you. They may, may be trying to do the same things you're doing as well. And the Hierophant here can also be about leveling up in a big, big way. You know, it is about spiritual, spirituality, faith, religion. It also can be about corporations, businesses, institutions, leveling up, you know, education, teaching, learning, being a student, um, you know, morals, justice, values, um, traditions as well, marriage, commitment. It's all about leveling up here in a big way. So somebody's definitely... Leveling up in a big way, making that change to have a new leap of faith here. So go easy with this person because I think they've been through a lot. So I don't, again, I don't know if that's you or them. And this uh, Queen of Swords here is Libra. All right. 
surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into act exciting, I'll say action. Well, maybe that's for some. Leap into an exciting new world of possibility. So yeah, you, I think, are very successful right now. Or you have even more success coming in. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Now, this could be your person. I don't feel like it's you. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So, I mean, through all they've been through, they could have believed, um, you know, they're like poor now. They don't have enough. You know, everything was happening to them, not for them. So now they feel like they've been stripped of everything. So they could be, you know, surrendering, surrendering this uh, belief system that they're having. And it could be low self-esteem as well. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. We do have a sunflower there, which is kind of like the sun energy again. All right. Let's get one more. Now, these messages could be for you as well, Virgo. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So if you've been procrastinating about doing some new, you know, adding some new um, ideas to your work environment or your career or your business or whatever that is for you, I think it's telling you to uh, do that because it says surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So don't be afraid of change. I think change is good, especially around um, work or career or whatever that pertains to you. And I definitely feel like a person's been through one hell of a situation here. But they're rising like the phoenix, and I think you're going to be shocked that they're ready to come in here. And I think they're going to tell you everything with this Ace of Swords. So you may be shocked at all they had to go through, but I think you kind of let them be, you let them, you know, do what they had to do. Um, you know, retracted your energy here, like I said, but now, I mean, your starting energy was the Palace of Coins and the New Start. So a very stable ground and new start here, uh, Virgo. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. I hope that resonated. Thank you so much for being here. Truly, truly appreciate it. Again, check out your February readings as well. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.